brutal boxing ring called life, fathers are prize fighters. But we don't step in the ring to receive profit or praise. We fight for the right to raise our children. See, fatherhood is what separates the heavyweight contenders from the pretenders. Cowards run from the challenge. Deadbeat is another word for defeat. But courageous fathers fight for custody and visitation rights. Honestly, I almost lost my first bout against self-doubt. I considered becoming a quitter. When I first found out I was going to be a father, I felt those pre-fight jitters. But on the day my first daughter was born, the fight to become a great father was on. Round one. My first battle began when my daughter was an infant. I went to the car with an instant. Some dude ran up on me from behind. He held a gun to my spine and said, don't move as he reached for the wallet in my front pocket. Now, if I let him ride me, my daughter wouldn't need another way to look at the feet. Moments like this requires a father to have a strong backbone. So before he could grab my wallet, I swung. Beat him with my bare knuckles until his jaw was bloody and broken and all he could slay as he lay on the ground was, I hate Oakland. Once he went from the town. <laughs> when the police arrived, they said I was lucky to be alive. I could have been shot, but I refused to let a man take food from my daughter's mouth, so I fought. <laughs> Round two. Ten years later, my oldest daughter's mother relocates to the other side of the state. I'm emotionally bent out of shape. It was that unexpected custody battle that reduced me to my fighting weight. For the first time in 10 years, I was forced to celebrate Father's Day without my daughter. It felt like a right hook to my heart. But fatherhood is not a spectator sport. You have to participate. So I even slept at the airport just so I wouldn't miss the next court date. Because claiming to be a father but not fighting during the custody battle would have been contradictory. And when the judge awarded me full physical custody, it was the closest feeling I've ever felt to victory. <laughs> Round three was a split decision. Bye, bye. I filed for split custody of my second daughter when she was a toddler. I didn't want my ex-wife to deprive me of being a father. My previous legal fight taught me that every father needs to have the legal right to raise his children. These are just three rounds of a lifelong fight as a father, a pride fighter, and I know my toughest battles lay ahead. Future fights will come when my daughters want to date, but I'm no light rate. And if a man ever lays his hands on my daughter, I'll knock his ass out and trust me, we are already training for that battle. See, in this brutal boxing ring called life, fathers are prize fighters. Deadbeats have a ringside seat. Where real fathers develop the skills and courage to fight. So fathers, especially black fathers, if you lose your job, continue the jab. If you get struck by an unexpected uppercut, don't give up hope. You keep swinging back when life lands you against the ropes. You're a prize fighter. And I know the fight to be a father is hard, but every day you hear your children say, I love you, daddy, that adds more points to your scorecard. Yes. See, in this brutal boxing ring called life, fathers are prize fighters. And our children's smiles are our championship belts. And we know victory has been won when we lift our children upon our shoulders and claim the greatest prize, which is the look of love we see reflected in our children's eyes. Pride.